Brendan McCraner and this is Patrick Martin and we're both here to give you an introductory video to a project that we're working on called Celebrate Pipes. That's right. I'm all from about the Ellen Pipes. All about the Ellen Pipes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I'm from Dunleer in County Louth and there hasn't been many pipers in Dunleer County Louth. There was a couple of pipe bands, as in marching pipe bands. And, um, and Patrick's from... I'm from near Inneskeen, the Louth Monaghan border. Yeah. yeah, and I think we both learned pipes, how to play them different ways. I went to the Pipers Club up in Dublin, Henrietta Street, when I was a kid. Uh, I'd say it would have started about 10, and then every month there was a Saturday class. I'd go up there and I'd learn the pipes from there, really. And then I'm not, Good. I'm not sure, Patrick, what did you do? Yeah. Um, I started out being a bagpipe player. I, I still play them to this day. Then in my mid-teens, I was introduced to Willen Pipes. So um, I went to lessons in Dundalk with Padraig Donlan. I think he's still teaching away at them in the old jail and stuff. I didn't go to the Pipers Club in Dublin, but after me lessons, I went on with it myself, I suppose, sessions, etc. Yeah. 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 Ended up in a few shows, cross-border orchestra, some people might have known people in that. You know, collaborating with the school choirs in County Louth. Great. Had lots of trips with them. That's the great thing about the pipes. Both done the bands and yeah, sessions. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And we've played together a couple of times that yeah. we can both remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the thing as well. Like, we would have travelled a fair bit, like, just playing the pipes. Um, but... I think both of us would have started off with the whistle at some stage. Would it be right? It comes along, yeah. It does. I it? did it the other way around. Did you? Funny. <laughs> there you Bike go. Pipes, and then Ellen Pipes, then whistle. Yeah, yeah. Um, just but, to uh, make it. You can, yeah. It's a yeah. good idea to start on a whistle. It is a good idea. And it, it's, it's actually good to start, le oh, even if you're left handed, it's good to be taught left hand on top. Yeah because then when you go to learn a flute or pipes or a concert flute or any other instrument that has keys, etc., mm -hmm. does, does without the necessity to get a, a left-handed instrument modified or made. Yeah. So and it puts all, an extra all play the same well. ways. It's yeah, like I'd say yeah. a lot of you in school are doing something on a tin whistle, which what I would have started on. Um, and then kind of almost graduated onto the pipe. So I'll play a tune on the tin whistle, um, just a jig called the Blackthorn Stick. things like a low whistle which is the same except bigger with six holes on it but just showing you the difference between the pipes and the whistles um, will we talk at all about the origin of the Ellen pipes the origin of it. yes why not I mean tell me so we're going back to the 18th century more or less when yeah. they became close to what they are now you had a few clever makers who developed things. You already had bellows-driven bagpipes. You had a French musette, a Northumbrian pipes, Scottish lowland pipes, all had a bellows by this stage, as apart from Brunk in the mouth. They, they are driven by a, a bellows, um, 
as opposed to being a mouth-blown bagpipe or, or mouth-blown instrument. Um, all, all the air comes from this bellows on, under your right arm. So it does, Ordin ordinary bellows. It's connected by a pipe, goes into a bag, basically, and the, the air it then is fed into your chanter for playing the tunes. It's fed into the drones, which provide a kind of a background hum. And you, al you also have the regulators. These, these are the nice shiny keyed components with, with, with the keys, basically. Yeah. And, and as you know, they, they're ad added accompaniment for, for the tune. And isn't there different types? Uh, like a, a practice set would have yeah. Isn't there a practice that would have a... When, when, when you start out learning Illan pipes, yeah. you, you don't bother with the drones and the whole thing here. You just start with the bellows, bag and chanter. Cool. It's much easier to, yeah. to get. To, and then to a half set you get? Half set you get the drones. I'll just, I'll just play you the, the drone just yeah. to give you the sound. It actually consists of like a high uh, and a middle and a, and a low bass drone. That's the high, middle one, bass one. Gives a nice, fu full, rich, nice tone. Lovely. Goes in the background of the of the melody. And then the regulators that kind of like provide chords underneath. Almost, yeah. Um, or notes. It's basically for for little harm harmonies yeah. and chords, and you basically have to play them with with the heel of your your yeah. right hand. You're running and out of body parts. Yeah, now you can you can play with them. Uh, you can free up a hand if you're playing the top yeah. hand. You know, I'll give you a little example. Beautiful. There's things you can do with them. Yeah once you get on to them. They're a little daunting. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they provide a nice little backdrop to the, to the tune. So in, essentially they're, they're a bagpipe supplied with, with a bellows, yep. a chanter to play the tune, drones to add background, etc. Most, mostly traditional Irish music, but they can, they can be adapted, you know, you can... Yeah. can and in some places I read that they were uh, substituted for an organ, like in a church, rather than having the organ being played, that the dealer and pipes were used. And because it would have came around, they would have been using Baroque music. Um, there's even people think now that they weren't used for jigs or reels or anything like that at all. Mm -hmm. It was just for Baroque music. It would have been played on harp and then some of it would have been played on the and pipes. So it's gone through a couple they of... They were designed for indoor, mm. oh, yeah. as, a, as opposed from the as I suppose war pipes, yeah. bagpipes, marching or walking out, outdoors, creating a, a loud volume. Because we have more. to sit down to play. Yeah. We don't stand up and we don't walk around either. That's one yeah. of the things as well, because the bottom of the chanter, that's a note as well. So in order to get that note covered and to stop her from playing, we have to be mm -hmm. sitting down or in a hunker position. Ready for tune so, yet? Yeah, I think so. Go Very for our yeah. little uh, tune we had up our sleeve. Yeah. Lark in the morning, is it? Lark in the morning, okay. yeah. Lovely four-part jig to start off.
דווקא דן.